You're watching TVC News. The African Democratic Congress governorship candidate in Adama State has promised to overhaul education and health sectors if re elected. Senator Abdulaziz Nyako also vowed to continue with his father's empowerment programs to assist youths and women, particularly vulnerable in the state. In Maye Bowa, the country home of former governor Motala Nyako, hundreds of African Democratic supporters flooded the streets chanting Solidarity songs amidst chairs to give his son, Abdulaziz, the gubernatorial candidate of the party, him support. He later, Abdulaziz promised a Dama electorate to build on his father's legacy by, uh, with free medical and, medical and education at all levels to citizenry if elected. Teachers were well looked after. There was the aspect of teacher training. And so many other things. There were health services, women that were pregnant, who were, could get attendance, you know, and um, children up to the age of five, they could get attendance in the hospitals. The, the state government was looking out after them. But at the same time now, we're also thinking of the elderly. We also, we, have, we also have to bring them into the system now. So these are things that we will do. We also realize that the funding, this time around there is a lot of debt on the state. I think they borrowed about 70 to 90 billion in a very short period of time. And this is where we, we, we this is what is of genuine concern to us. ADC is the party that is going to take over from APC in this state. Now we have gone around the nine local government of the Southern Senatorial Zone. And today we are going to start with the Central Senatorial Zone. This government that is coming is going to tackle the security 70%. And I believe it's going to happen.